Hi there, welcome to Grey's Outdoors and welcome to our back garden again. So you're going to have to forgive any background noises. Today, as you can see, I've lit a fire and what we're going to do today is we've got the Dutch oven out and we're going to be making some cheese scones in the Dutch oven. So I've gathered some old broomsticks, put a good old scouting lashing in the top and we've got ourselves a tripod and I think the first thing we're going to do is get this oven heated up. So let's get going, stay with me. So for those of you who are interested, this is the Petromax FT3. So I've got some ingredients here. I will put the whole recipe in the description so you can have a look at that. But just very quickly, we've got some flour. We've got some baking powder some mustard, some salt, a cup of grated cheese, some grated onion and some chives, an egg, not using the whole thing, some olive oil, and if you're really thirsty, have some of that. And we're gonna mix up all the dry ingredients in here and add the wet ingredients to it fold it over and throw it in the pan. I also am using some non-stick paper in the pan. So hopefully that'll go off well. I will put the whole recipe below for you guys to see if it's something you want to do. So let's get going. This recipe is actually for 12 scones, but I've divided into four, so if I'm hesitating a little bit, let me just get all the measurements right. First of all, let's get all the dry ingredients in here. We've got some flour, that was a cup of flour, we've got some baking powder, I'm always one for averages but um, we'll put it in as we go in there, we need a little bit of salt, I always think a scone needs a bit more salt than is ever given to it. We need the cheddar, which I've already grated. Bang, bang. That can go in. We've got that. We've got our onion, which can also go in. There's the onion. There's only a little bit of it. And we need some chives. These are lovely fresh chives from the garden, so we'll just pop a few of those in. And that is our dry ingredients. Give them a bit of a mix. And it should look something like that. Now we need our wet ingredients. And the one thing I forgot to tell you guys was the milk. So um, let me go get it. So sorry for forgetting the milk in the ingredients, but there it is. I didn't want to bring it out earlier and then it gets all warm. So dividing it by four, we're going to get 125 mils of milk. The full recipe calls for four eggs, so we are only going to have a little bit of egg. And we want some mustard. It does call for dry mustard, but I don't have any dry mustard, so I'm using what's available. Just pop a bit in there. Give that a bit of a stir around and we just need the oil. A little bit of 
oil. So the trick with doing a scone is not to mix the ingredients but to fold them in um, using something like a spatula or a knife. So we're going to add the ingredients and see if we can do that. I'm just trying to fold it over nicely and not mix it too heavily. I haven't even put all of the milk in. You can almost have dry spots in it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So I didn't do too many, I must have done about five or six folds and it looks like that. You can even see there's, there's even some dry spots. There's even some dry spots down there. So, so don't mix it too heavily. Let's get the Dutch oven out and prepare these for the fire. So just cut a little circle and put it in there and I'm just going to divide this into four and pop them in. As you can see I'm no professional. So there it is, um, I've got four in there, so just to give you a closer look. And hopefully that's going to go off. We're going to stick it straight on the coals now and see how it goes. So I'm going to give that 15 minutes now and we'll have a look then. So in the meanwhile, while that's waiting, uh, do subscribe if this is the kind of channel you like and hopefully uh, give us a thumbs up at the end. So let's come back to that now. So I think I'm going to give it another couple of minutes and we'll come back to it right then. So I think it's time to take it off, so let's have a look. Come around this way. So we're back to where we started and let's open this up and have a look. That is looking amazing. Whether it tastes amazing is another story. Just grab that from the bottom. I hope you can see that. So this is the moment of truth. All cooled down. Let's see if we can get this out.
They look very nice. Smell nice. Got a little bit of butter here. I'll bring you a little bit closer. So let's cut one open and have a look. See, it looks very nice. No burny end. Oh, I think that has done very well. I left it on the fire probably more like for about 20 minutes. So. And there it is. Very good. Well, that was really good. I think I'm going to make some tea and have that with some tea with my wife. I think she'll really like that. Thank you very much for joining me. Subscribe if this is your kind of thing. Give us, give us a like and I'd, I'd love to hear your cooking options or if you think I could have done anything better. Otherwise, everybody stay safe and look after yourselves. God bless. Thank you.